right, good morning everybody. She Detector here. So today I will be hunting at Fred Howard Park again. Um, and you can see there's really nobody out here, which is nice. It's Saturday, uh, the 30th of January. And I think it's about 55, maybe 60 degrees. Uh, it's 9.30 and low tide is at, I think it's at 10, 30 maybe, but I don't plan on doing any hunting in the water. I'm actually going to be hunting up in the sand, um, and you see this little beach rental thingy. Um, usually right around here is where they put umbrellas for people to like rent for the day. So I'm going to be hunting in the sand, and who knows, maybe I'll get lucky and find some goodies up here. Um, but I noticed that they actually raked the ground. Um, I don't know when they did it. It looks like it might have been sometime during the week because it doesn't look super fresh, um, but I can definitely see it. Um, yeah, it's a beautiful day. Like I said, there's nobody out here. Look at that water. Look at how smooth and flat that water is. It's beautiful. Um, yeah. <laughs> um, so today I'll be hunting with Beaker, my metal detector. Beaker is a Garrett Sea Hunter MK2 or Mark II. And I'm also hunting with Rex, my scoop. Rex is a T-Rex 8-inch scoop. Um, he's modified with some magnets. I got one down here and then one on the um, underside over there. I'm wearing my shoes and I got my glove. Um, so yeah, I think that's about it. So, oh, oh, I almost forgot. <laughs> I've got my pinpointer. Um, one of y'all had actually suggested I name my pinpointer Seeker, so it would be Seeker and Beaker. Um, I thought that was kind of a cool name, so I might do that. So I got my pinpointer, Garrett, uh, pinpointer AT. So, yeah. All right, let's do some detecting. Tab.
going, guys. It's about damn time. Uh, wow. I don't know. It's a nickel. Yep, it's a nickel. Uh, can't. I can't read the date. Uh, eighty-six, maybe. Uh, I don't know. I don't know, but it's a coin. Tell you where this bad boy's going when we get home. <laughs> All right. So now that I found a coin, I think I'm going to try spiraling out. I've not done it before. I feel like it's going to look like a retard shape and not like a spiral, but we'll give it a try. Okay, I was starting my spiral. Here was my hole. Here's where I got. <laughs> and I was picking up something else.
signal is loud and proud. There's definitely something here. Here's my spiral so far. Started there, went out, and I'm here. Alright guys, so here are the findings from my hunt today. Um, I found a couple of pool tabs, bottle cap, um, actually this is another, this is like a the beaver tail of a pool tab that is. Um, some random pieces of metal, this is like a little clamp thing. Not sure what you would use that on. I don't know, maybe it broke off of someone's chair or tent or something. I don't know. A couple of bobby pins. Um, this I have no idea when I picked this up, um, but I found it stuck to one of my magnets while I was digging out this can. Um, so I have no idea which hole this came out of. But yeah. And I found this little dinosaur. It's not, um, it doesn't have any metal in it. It's just a little plastic toy dinosaur. But I figured I'd pick it up, you know, get it off of the beach. So that's kind of cute. Um, this, well, I also found um, a nickel. I've got it sitting in some um, vinegar and baking soda. Um, just because I really wasn't able to see the year. So I think I'll let it sit in here for an hour or two and then I'll give it a scrub and see what year that is. I'll, I'll put the, I'll, I'll let you guys know what year it is once I figure it out. Um, but this can is by far, I think, my coolest find for today. And, I mean, you know, it's kind of not really that cool because it's a can, but it's a really old can. Look at that. It's got one of the, it's one of these guys. <laughs> um, it's a Budweiser can. And I looked it up online, and this can was made um, either, it was either 1958 or 1959. So it's a really old can. Um, I don't know, I don't really know what it looked like before I dug it up, but I know I put this bend in it because when I dug it up, it was like my scoop was like this. So, yeah. But, um... I thought it was pretty cool, and I said it as I was digging it. I was like, I'd, I really don't want it to be a pool tab or a bottle cap, and I'd really be all right if it was a can, and and boy, was it a can. I've never seen a can this old. Um, yeah, I thought that was pretty cool. So, so yeah, pretty cool find. Uh, this was another piece of it broke off. Um, so yeah, I didn't really find anything fantastical other than the can and the nickel. Um, but it was a great hunt. Um, it was nice. The weather was really nice. The sun was out and there was a breeze. Um, I think it was out there for about two hours or so. And then it started getting to be... There started being more people out walking around on the beach and picking up shells and stuff. Um, and then also my camera died. So I was like, well, I'll call it a day. Okay guys, so I wanted to tell y'all about some goodies that I got in the mail this week. Um, I got them Wednesday and I've been holding off on opening them until today um, so that I could, you know, show everybody what I got. Okay, so Rex, my sand scoop, um, is made by the same people that actually, they are the gold digger metal detectors. Um, I don't, I'm sure some of y'all have heard about them, They're, you can find them online. Um, gold digger metal detectors, but um, it's the same people. They make the T-Rex scoops. So I had contacted them about two weeks ago, um, you know, pretty much telling them that I love my scoop and 
um, how fantastic it is, and it's way better than the shovel that I was using. Um, and, you know, I, I had a chat with Ron DeGhetto. Um, he is the owner of um, Gold Digger Metal Detectors. So I, I'd actually talked to them on the phone for a little bit. And um, he, he said that he, you know, liked my channel. And um, I had asked if they would be interested in doing any kind of, like, sponsorship type thing where I could... Um, you know, review some of their products and show them to you guys. Um, you know, me being kind of a newbie, I could see, you know, hey, this is great and tell everybody about it. So they sent me a package in the mail and I want to show that to y'all now. So here's my box. Um, I have a bunch of business cards in here from them. They sent me a bunch of cards. And let's see, this is my unboxing. Um, he sent me the Raptor handles that I can put on my scoop. I know a couple of y'all have told me about them and um, I for whatever reason just hadn't pulled the trigger on it but Ron sent me the Raptor handles so I'm gonna have my husband install these on Rex um, probably this week and then I'll be able to uh, give them a try. I think this will really really help it or help me because you guys see how I lift the scoop up and it's I don't know, not as efficient as it could be. So I got that. So you guys will be seeing these in action in my next video. Um, he also sent me, well, I'll do this one first. Um, he sent me their land or sea pin pointer. Now I've got two, and I'm guessing you guys can figure out why, um, but they actually make this pin pointer as well. Um, now, what Ron was saying is that this pinpointer was specifically designed to be used in mineralized areas. So, of course, that works perfect because I'm in salt water. And if any of you beach hunters have ever been in salt water, you know that it can make your detector just start going off like crazy just because of the water. Um, so, I've got this awesome new pinpointer, which I'm excited to give a try. I'll be using this in my next hunt, um, hopefully next weekend if the waters or if the weather is nice. So, so yeah, I'll be doing a review of the land or sea pinpointer, and I'll also be giving one away. But that won't be till I reach my 3,000 subscriber mark. Um, so, so we'll have a little bit of time to wait for that, but that's all right, because in the meantime, you guys can actually see it in action and see how it does in the salt water. And if I can find some other mineralized areas, um, that'll be great. So, so there's that. And then he also sent me, um, it's a digger pouch, which you guys know that I have the, um, I have a like an apron that I got from Myers um, metal detecting or metal detectors and it's really good it's canvas it's a really good material but it doesn't drain the water out um, which you know me being a beach hunter I kind of needed to be able to drain the water out um, so but this pouch here um, it's um, it's I mean it's a beach pouch it's specifically made for you know allowing you to be able to drain the water out. Let's see if I can't open this up here with one hand. All right. So you see it's mesh, which I mean it's perfect because the water will come right out. And it's a good size too. It's it's much bigger than my current um, apron. So um, this, I don't know if, in, if I'm sure most of y'all have seen it, but in one of my videos I found a snorkel just kind of floating around in the seaweed. So I picked it up and my Myers pouch is like maybe this wide, so the snorkel was sticking way out. But this would be um, better for those bigger objects. And then it's got another little pouch here. Open this up. There you go. And this one is not um, mesh on the outside, but it does have the mesh on the inside. So, see, you can see my hand in there from the inside of the pocket. Um, yeah, so I'm really excited to try this one out. And, of course, I'll be, this will come in more handy when I'm actually hunting in the water, which I'm not really doing right now because the water's too cold to actually be in. But um, next, well, not next year. We're already in the new year. Um, once it gets warmer, I'll be, really be able to put this to good use. But this will still be good because it'll let the sand filter out. So he sent me two, two pouches, and you guys can probably guess why. 
So this pouch is going to be a giveaway prize for one of you lucky subscribers. Um, and this is going to be the giveaway prize for when I hit my 2,000 subscriber mark. So yeah, so I think we'll be coming up to that really soon. I think I'm only about 200 subscribers away or so. So that's something to look forward to. Okay, and then the last thing that he sent me, he sent me a couple of shirts, which I can wear while I'm metal detecting. So, I got a yellow one here. It's not like a bright yellow. It's kind of um, almost like a pastel yellow. And then a green one. So let me see if I can't open one up here. There we go. All right. So you can see it says the gold digger metal detectors on the back. It's got the little prospector on here and it has their information. Um, like I said, I got my scoop. Um, while I didn't buy it directly from them, they are actually a supplier of Myers um, detectors here in Tampa. So, you know, they send their scoops to, you know, the different places and then and that's where I bought it. I bought it from Myers. Um, from the Gold Digger Metal Detectors. But here's their information and here's their website, golddiggermetaldetectors.com. Um, and I'll show you guys their card. Let's see if I can't zoom in a little bit. There we go. And you can see they're located in New Jersey. So there's their email and their phone number and their address. All right. Yeah, so, um, yeah. So I have to send out many, many thanks to Ron for sending me all of these awesome goodies. I really can't wait to start using them and letting you guys know how they are and, and then eventually giving some away to y'all. So i got all of my fun goodies right here. Yeah, all right. So if you guys have any questions or comments, um, as usual, go ahead and leave them in the comment section. Um, you can also contact me on my Facebook page. It's She Detector. Um, well, Facebook.com slash She Detector. Um, yeah, and I love seeing the stuff that you guys find on your hunts too. So feel free to post pictures and tell me, you know, how your hunts are going there on my Facebook page. And other than that, I guess I will see you guys later.